Good morning and welcome to the First Baptist Church of Kimberling City's RPM Daily Devotionals, reaching the lost for Christ, preparing the saints for service, and magnifying the Lord. Now let's join our special guest for today's message. Good morning, First Baptist Church, Kimberling City. Uh, I pray that this day finds you well. On behalf of my wife, Linda, and our daughter, Anna, we are looking forward to meeting you this weekend, to spending time with you, and, and to worship with you this weekend. Linda and I have been married for 35 years, and we have four children. Our oldest, Sarah, she is married with three children and lives in California. Our older son, Christopher, is married, and they have one son. Our younger son, Jonathan, is married, and they have two daughters. And our youngest, Anna, who you will get to meet, uh, is a junior at Oklahoma Baptist University. Um, I'm retired from the Army, where I served for 20 years. When I was enlisted, I worked in radio and television. After receiving my commission, I worked in Army Signal and as an acquisition officer. Since my, retire, uh, since my retirement, I've been in the worship ministry full time. During our years in the Army, however, we served as a lay minister in the local church in music and drama wherever God placed us. Both Linda and I knew, though, that at my 17th year in the Army, that God has, had called us into full-time worship ministry. Go back even further, I placed my faith in Christ as a child. I can still remember the coffee table in the basement apartment in Chicago where I knelt and prayed to receive Christ as my Savior. It was as an adult, though, that I realized what the love and the grace and the mercy of Jesus is really all about. I was struck with the realization of what Philippians 2, 12 through 13 is telling us when it says to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. God worked in me to accomplish His will and to serve Him according to His purpose. I truly came to understand the gift of grace that Jesus provided for each of us. Through my years of serving in the church, I strove to understand what it really means to worship God. As a, as a music leader, a song director, a worship pastor, I wanted a, a deeper understanding of what it is that I was leading. I would get excited when a theme or even a word of a song matched the theme of a sermon, especially if I didn't know what that theme was. But I felt that there had to be more to worship than that. Many of us have been on a personal journey in our lives to find fulfillment in our worship of and relationship with God. For some, the idea or practice of worship has become empty and meaningless in, in several ways. The answer for me was realized through investigating the answer of Jesus to the scribe in Mark chapter 12, verse 30, when the scribe asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? Jesus answered him this way. He said, love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. What is defined here is a holistic approach to worship. Holistic, that is to say, a complete approach to worship is to unreservedly give ourselves to the adoration, acknowledgement, and acclamation of our loving God. This is the act of loving and worshiping God with our whole being, with our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. Another way to put this, or to say this, is that worship is the abandonment of who we are in the realization of who God is. As my understanding of my relationship with Christ and worship of Him has matured over the years, uh, so has the understanding of Christian ministry. You see, Jesus went on to say in Mark 12, 31, that the second is, the, the second part of this answer to your what is the greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. There are no greater commandments than these two. We must approach serving in ministry holistically to effectively serve the church. Service and action will grow out of understanding, uh, understanding comes from our re personal relationship with Christ, 
our personal relationship grows out of our decision to follow Christ, which will change the core of who we are. Ministry grows out of our complete worship and walk with Christ. In this way, the Holy Spirit can more effectually work in and through our ministry. This is my deepest desire, to give God everything I am. I cannot give God my mind without giving Him my heart or only my actions. Our entire being works together to honor God and to draw us closer to Him. Romans 12.1 says this, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy. We thank you for that which brings us together as brothers and sisters in Christ, which, Lord Jesus, is your sacrifice on the cross. And our placing our faith in you, giving you everything we, we have, because you gave us everything that you had. We praise you, Lord. May you uh, bring us together in brotherly love. May you bring us together and knit our hearts together as we share a time of fellowship and worship with you. To you, God, be the glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for spending this time with me. Uh, I look forward to meeting you, to talking more with you, to spending time with you in fellowship and in worship. And until we meet again, may the peace of Christ be with you. Thank you again for joining us today. We invite you to watch RPM Daily Devotionals each week, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on YouTube and Facebook. For more information on First Baptist Church and its ministries, go to fbckc.com. From First Baptist Church of Kimberling City, have a blessed day.